Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is July the 24th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken out of Psalm chapter 113 and verse 3. A very simple verse with a very simple message. Psalm 113 verse 3. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. Now, on the surface, this would appear to simply say, in all things give thanks. But there are actually a couple of messages here. The first would be from the moment that our eyes open and we awake to a new day, we are immediately to focus our thoughts and our attention upon the God that we serve. You see, he is the creator of all things. And sometimes it's hard for us to look past the creation of man, all the concrete, all the metal, and all the structures that have been created by man and for his own glory. But we really don't have to look that hard. For the moment we walk out the door, most likely we hear birds chirping. We may see bees and butterflies buzzing. We may see the clouds in the skies and the breeze blowing gently through the trees. And for those things and more, we are to give him praise. And we have been commanded in this passage from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. And so basically what we're being told here is that we are to find opportunity to praise him throughout the entire day. We would most certainly praise him for our health, for our families, maybe for our employment, for the privilege to be able to open a Bible at any time, anywhere. There are surely numerous things that we can give him praise for. But it's easy to be distracted. And yet what we are being told is even in the distraction, give the Lord praise in all things. And to be able to do this, we must look past the affairs of this life. We must look past the events of this life. And we have to see his hand in all things. Even in the bad, the Lord is at work. Even on the rainy day, the Lord is at work. Even when we have received devastating, heart-wrenching news, the Lord is at work and is to be praised. Now, of course, this is easier said than done. It requires effort. It requires focus. It requires concentration. But it can be and it should be done. Let the Lord be praised in washing the dishes. Let the Lord be praised in getting the kids ready for school. Let the Lord be praised in checking the mail. Let the Lord be praised in driving to the grocery store. Let the Lord be praised at work, at play, in worship and in leisure, in all things, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, let the name of the Lord be praised. Let his name be praised when you answer the phone. Let his name be praised when you send an email. Let his name be praised when you stub your toe. And let his name be praised when you skin your knees. At work, at play, in leisure, or in worship, let the name of the Lord be praised. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah, which simply means praise the Lord, praise Yahweh, praise Jesus, praise Holy Spirit. Let his name be praised. He is glorious. He is wonderful. He has done great things in your life. Let his name be be praised. Look past your problems. Look up with expectation. Let his name be praised. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. 
let his name be praised. Lift your hands, bow your knees, let his name be praised. At work, at play, in leisure, in worship, let the name of the Lord be praised. When the economy flourishes, when the economy falls, let the name of the Lord be praised. When the end times come into clear view and the events of revelation are taking place before our eyes, let the name of the Lord be praised. In sickness and in health, in good times and bad, let the name of the Lord be praised. And together God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, we're going to close there today. I pray that your journey is blessed. I pray that the spirit of the living God is brimming over within you. And I pray that you carry forth his praises throughout this day. At work, at play, in leisure, or in worship. In all things, at all times, let the name of the Lord be praised. Hallelujah. Well, I love you, friends. Now, as Yahweh wills, and until next time, you keep praising the Lord, and I'll see you on the next video.